Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we're going to be doing a top 20 decks of the meta. There's so many good decks of the meta. Originally, it was supposed to be a top 5 video, but I just kept thinking of a really good decks again and again and again. We had to do top 20. There are 20 legit decks here that I'll literally feel bad to keep out. And you know what? There's some special ones that I saved for a pet nation, baby. So look up for number 20, number 15, number 10, number 2, and number 1. Here's some special decks. And a little foreshadowing of greatness to come on the channel. So if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. If you guys want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Sue in real life, the only way to do it so is on the beautiful Trip Gaming Playmats on TripGaming.com. So get your beautiful two electron clock playmats at TripGaming.com right now. Sign up with the Pendulum Training down below. And let's get started right now. Top 20. It's going to be super fast speed. So hit stay tuned to the very end, especially for my first pick, my last pick, my middle picks, and every pick. So stay tuned and let's get it. Number 20. This is huge foreshadowing, because I'm going to be releasing a deck profile on this deck soon. Let me tell you something. It is not number 20. It is more like number 1. That is Metal Foes, baby. You think Metal Foes dead? You're wrong. I'll be taking Metal Foes to every single Rogue tournament that Luxury Gaming has to offer. If you guys don't know about them. Amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! group where you can play online Yu-Gi-Oh! Now that, you know, we actually can't go to events. And Met they have a Rogue Tourney where a lot of the top decks are gone. So Metal Foes is just the best deck in the planet for that one. You already know. Number 19. We're going to be putting Heroes. Now, some of you guys are going to think Heroes should be a little higher. Honestly, I don't even think that makes the top 20. I, It's not that good of a deck. I'm sorry to all the Hero lovers out there. It's good, but the fact that you can only play Heroes and you can't do other stuff like Link shenanigans because they, they stop you, they make you only play Heroes. I'm not a big fan of that. It's so like, you can only play Heroes. I hate that. I'd rather more, I'd rather you be able to play a deck where you can throw in any type of strategy you want. Anyways, number 18, Sub Terror. Some of you would have put this up as well, but you cannot pick all the like all the actual good decks over Sub Terror. Sub Terror doesn't do anything. Even with Numeron, it's just bad. Ultra Geist is number 17. Same idea as Sub Terror. They don't do anything. You could I could basically summon a Metal Force Volflame and none of those decks could clear that card. It's difficult. The both those decks are very overrated in my eyes. Trap decks suck. Number 16. Generators, baby. Generator Numeron's actually ridiculous. I think Generator Numeron arguably could be a top 10, top 5 maybe. That's how good Generator Numeron is. But I think this list is so damn good that I have to put it number 16. And in fact, just so everyone knows, Pure Numeron didn't even make the list. So if you play Pure Numeron, play a different deck. Because Pure Numeron is the most overhyped deck I've ever seen in a very long time. Numeron Eldritch is very good. Numeron Generator, very good. Pure Numeron literally does nothing. Literally does nothing. You could take Zexel to the face once, just set cards in defense. And then eventually Numeron, the, the Zexel will be a zero, a zero materials, and you just destroy them. The only way for them to out their own uh, their own Zexel is by ghost augering it. Pure Numeron is like the biggest piece of shit deck. It doesn't even crack my top 30. Uh, anyways, number 15, the moment we've all been waiting for. This is another foreshadow for a big deck to come, baby. If you guys want to see this video, all right, that I'm about to say, I want this video to get 500 likes, so smash the like button right now, all right? If you guys want to see Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon in a pure Odd Eyes deck, pure Odd Eyes, if this video gets 500 likes, I'll be dropping my pure Odd Eyes deck profile with a bunch of combo combos in it. It is absolutely amazing of a deck. Odd Eyes Revolution made pure Odd Eyes ridiculously, ridiculously good. And I'll be taking Odd Eyes decks as well to a bunch of rogue tourneys online when Revolution Dragon gets released. It is absolutely amazing. And honestly, Metaphors and Odd Eyes should probably be in top 10. I'm disrespecting Pendulums by putting them 20 and 15, but it's all good. Number 14, Invoked Eldritch slash Invoked Mech Knight. I know that also seems a little low, but if you see the decks I'm about to tell you right here that are, like, incredible, you're going to see why I have to put decks like this so low. That's why I said in the beginning, this the format we're in right now has so many good decks. Yu-Gi-Oh! has been around for so long. We got 20 legitimately good decks. It's not like 25 legitimately good decks. And that's why I put Invoked Elish number 14. Any Invoked strategy with Elish or Mech Knight at number 14. The fact that they just go second is like, ugh, garbage. Number 13. This deck, I might get flaked for this too, but I don't care. Salamangre, great, number 13. I think this deck doesn't do anything with Gazelle at 1 and the whole deck band, uh, band and stuff like that. I'll put Salamangre 13. It's a solid deck where you could you could win an event, you could top event with it perhaps, but over a long course of time, I don't think so. I think it's it's... It's uh, very consistent, very consistently shit. So I'll put that at number 13. Uh, Orcus number 12. Again, you guys, as I said, there's so many good decks out there. What are you going to do? Put Synchro, like Synchro Eldritch is barely the top five for me, barely, if not even that. 
Orcus number 12, Shadal number 11. Shadal completely went out of the radar after the new cards came out. Uh, it, it, exactly what's going to happen to a rock deck and exactly what's going to happen to the Eldritch deck. They're just the new hot hot decks. Where is the rock in FTK now? Is, it, is anyone playing it? No. It won one LCS and everyone thought it was the best deck. No one played it afterwards. It's a thing with Yu-Gi-Oh players. Y'all, but every Yu-Gi-Oh player is a bunch of sheep. You see one deck do good, everyone plays it. The second I win the next YCS with Pendulums, everyone will play it. I won't win the one after that, and then no one will play it. It's just how the Yu-Gi-Oh community is. Shadal is actually a pretty good deck. I'll put that at number 11. Number 10. Y'all ready for this? Because you're not ready for this. The best deck of all time. The best deck of all time. But it's a little different. So if you're ready for this, are you, are you ready for this? Pepe Revolution! Pepe Dracopal! Revolution Dragon, baby! This deck's ridiculous! This one too! A very special video. I announced this on my stream yesterday. Pepe Revolution. The new way to play Pepe. The revolution of Pepe. Ooh, I'm so hyped for this one. If you guys are hyped for that one, you already know. The only way you can actually play Pepe Revolution is on a trip game play mat. And guess what? It's absolutely beautiful, just like the deck. So I'll get yours right now on TripGaming.com, and you could possibly play Pepe Revolution yourself. But I do advise you, it requires a very big brain. So if you don't have that, I don't recommend playing the deck. It's a very good deck, absolutely amazing. And the fact that me I'm putting it at number 10 is probably disrespectful to the deck again. I don't want people to think, oh, it's Pendulums, he's just overrating them. No, no, no. Metal Falls, Odd Eyes, and Pepe, with Revolution Dragon, Metal Falls as it is right now, deserve to be way higher in this list. But I just wanted to do it as... Low as possible in case you guys cry about it. But Pepe, Draco Pal, with Audience Revolution Dragon, you can literally do whatever you want. With some magicians in there, rank 4 spam, it's a whole way to play Pepe. It's absolutely ridiculously good, and I'll be releasing it on my channel next week. So if you're excited for that, make sure to hit the notification bell, you guys will see it. It is an incredible video. I wanted to post it this week, but I think it'll be most hype when the set gets released with Revolution Dragon for me to post it. Number 9 now, Mermails. See what I mean how this whole, like, every deck I named so far could legitimately top or win an event. Every deck. And Mermails number 9, I, you could arguably say it's higher, but Mermails are so good. Mermails are arguably number 1, arguably number 20, you know what I mean? What I'm saying is this whole format is such a, any deck could win. Not just Rock or Eldritch or whatever you actually think it is. People just don't want the brain to actually use these good decks. Mermail does what all those decks do, but arguably better. Number 8, Rocket FTK. This deck fell off the radar after the LCS because if you... Know how to hand trap it correctly, it's good, but a, built, a properly built Rocket FTK where through the bunch of hand traps you could still uh, put up negates. And on top of that, with people now forgetting about the FTK, they won't be scared of it. So Rocket FTK could arguably be a, a, a solid choice. Number 7, the newly hyped deck of the world, Numeron Elich. I put Numeron Elich number 7 and Synchro Elich number 6. Now I know that sounds crazy because I understand something. Numeron Elich is extremely very easy to beat. It's like pure Numeron. You just set cards. The second they activate a Conquistador, the they, Numeron Calling is dead forever. So you don't got to worry about that. The Zexel is not as difficult as it seems. There's so many ways to stop the Numeron engine. So many ways. The second Shadal came out, especially the one event after Shadal was legal, no one knew how to deal with Windows. So they did good in that one YCS. Did they do anything after the YCS? Hell no. Because everyone knew how to deal with one Winda. Same thing for Zexel. Now that everyone knows Zexel is an issue, you just deal with it accordingly. So every Numeron deck is heavily overrated right now. All the good players know to deal with the Zexel. If you don't know how to deal with the Zexel, then you're just a bad deck builder. You should know you're going to be playing a lot of that right now. Uh, so, and the reason I say Synchro Elitch number 6 is the same reason. Elitch was on top for so long that everyone knows how to defeat Elitch. Everyone does. I know it sounds ridiculous for me to say it's number 6 and 7, but everyone knows how to beat Synchro Needle Fiber Elitch decks. Literally any hand trap in the world. It's not that difficult. Any hand trap in the world. And you stop the whole deck. And then you destroy them on your turn. You want to know what deck's better than every Elitch uh, variant in the planet? Dinos. Dinos, baby. Dinos is legit. I'm a big fan of Dinos. I think Dinos is heavily underrated. And Dinos cracks my top five. My number four deck is Dragon Link. Not Rocket FDK, but basically Rocket, Dragon, Revolution Dragon, Chaos Emperor, all that together. Honest Revolution Dragon makes Dragon Link way better because you can search... Uh, you, the prize card and the prize card in Dragon Link is like really good, especially if you use it like Chaos variant with it. So Dragon Link Chaos, Dragon Chaos with Revolution Dragon is ridiculously good. And number three, I'm gonna put Rock. So I probably should put Dragon Revolution number three. And I'll put Rock number four. I'm gonna put Rock number four actually. Rock's very powerful, definitely. Rock's way better than Elitch without question. But I'm gonna put uh, Revolution Dragon number three. 
uh, because of the pendulum card in it. And now for number two, Magician Pendulum with Revolution Dragon, baby. Revolution Dragon, Effect, Dark Worm, Pen Call, GG, buddy. You guys saw the video I made. I still don't know what's better between that and Endymion Pendulum. So why not just throw both of the top two because they're both the best decks. So that goes number two. And number one is the best deck of all time. Without question, I mean to say it. Endymion Pendulum, baby. Let's go. Literally the best deck of all time. Without question. Zodiac, full power? Come at me, bro. I'll beat you two on one. Zodiac, full power, full power, Dragon Ruler? I will both the ass two on one. Because Endymion Pendulum is the best deck. And if you think otherwise, then get off the channel. Hope you guys like the video. Top 20 decks of the meta. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Next week, we're going to be showing you guys the Pepe Revolution deck and the Metal Force deck and the Odd Eyes deck, baby. See you guys then. Peace. Yeah,